En, to, tre, fire. Hi you guys and welcome to another uh, episode of uh, Flight High. Uh, I want to show you this um, this nymph, this damsel nymph. Uh, in the waters in Norway we got a lot of damsels and, uh, and, uh, and this one, this tan color seems to work very good. So this pattern you can tie this uh, in, in olives and in brown colors and, and many different colors but uh, I like it it's in this tan color. It seems to work great, and uh, I'm using, uh, as you probably will see now, uh, I'm using a lot of the same materials. Um, you know, I like to, I like to when I uh, buy things, I like to tie, um, tie uh, many different uh, patterns by using a few materials. So sometimes uh, I can tie, uh, you know. Um, like this one, I, I use the the rabbit, uh, the uh, the hair mask. I use for the torax, and and I do that on many other many on other uh, different types of flies that I tie. So yeah, and I just made myself a fresh cup of coffee. That's important. Uh, it's raining outside, and it's it's a little bit cold actually. So I'm I'm having a blast sitting here in the warm, cozy corner of my and with my fly tying table. So yeah. So I'm gonna show you this uh, damsel nymph, and uh, and uh, I tie this as I told you with the uh, with the hair's mask I use for torax, and I use. Um, oh, I'm just gonna take a sip. Oh, that's warm, and I use um, this um, ice marabou. This is actually from from uh, Petit Jean. This tan color. And I use uh, a hair's mask. I use the chin part. You know, I I like the colors. Oh, oh, the tan color. Yeah, I use uh, that, and I use a pheasant, and I use uh, the big, the big uh, feathers on the side. So you see, I, I made a lot of them. So I use the the nice. I'm gonna uh, take out one, and I'm gonna show you. And uh, I use uh, lead. Uh, this is a flat, flat one. I don't know what you called it, but uh, a flat lead wire. You can use, you can use. Uh, all, uh, what you ever you have small small lead wire would, would use would work great so and i'm using a super fine copper wire and um, i don't know if you've seen but i i collect a lot of copper wire from uh, not flat screen tvs but from all tvs they got a lot of this you see copper wire copper wire and all shapes and sizes and and colors so um, this is uh this is perfect uh, here i think i got the rest of my life in this little spool here so and I like the color, the, the copper color. So yeah, so I'm using copper wire, and I'm I'm, I'm uh, actually making the eyes for the damsels myself. So I'm gonna start off by showing you how I make uh, eyes. So cheers, let's tie this fly. Here is a couple of uh, damsel eyes I've made, and I'm using this this um, I don't know what what you call this uh, plier. Yeah, some sort of uh, pliers. Uh, and and uh, you can the 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 width of this is is quite important that it is is not too wide but this is perfect i don't know i don't know how wide it is i can measure it in millimeters it's about 3 mm 2 mm in the front actually 2 to 3 mm so it's perfect for making damsels so you can you can find one in your local hardware shop and buy one you don't have to buy a, a expensive one like this one. This is an old one, but uh, it's a Swedish. You can see, and it got a fish on it. There you go. It is a very good one. It's a very old, but it had lasted uh, for many, many years. <laughs> so, yeah. And for 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 I use mono, and this is quite thick. In uh, we use, you know, I say this is um, uh, 070, also uh, 0.70 millimeters. You can use or 0.80. It's quite thick or 0.50 or whatever you have uh, lying around but the quite thick one i like the quite thick one okay so we're gonna snip off uh one centimeter of uh, mono like that and i'm just gonna place it in my pliers like this and i'm gonna burn the ends and i'm gonna burn so all uh, not gonna blow on it i'm just gonna let it burn all the way in okay let it burn like that and pull it off and let it burn that burn that one 
and I'm not gonna let go. I'm just gonna keep it there, and I'm gonna uh, make sure it's it's uh, dried up before I I touch it. So we can blow on it, <laughs> and I'm gonna use a marker. Here's the markers I use. They are they are excellent. These markers. They're quite expensive, but uh, you get uh, two tips and the colors. Is, they got a lot of different colors. I like this orange one, the ER YR16. There you go. Yeah. So I'm gonna paint, paint the eyes with the orange color. You can use brown or olive or whatever you want. I like the orange one. So I'm just gonna paint it a little bit. And that's it. It's it's so easy to to make these eyes yourself. And it's quite fun. You can sit there and, and you can make a lot of them in a very short while. So there you go. That's the damsel eyes, and we're gonna tie this one in in uh, uh, on the on the fly later. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. So um, there we go. I can see the eyes again. They're nice. I, I like them a lot. So yeah. Let's start off by putting in a hook. I'm gonna fill up my box. You can see I've started up filling with the the damsels. There we go, there's the damsels, and I got the Vulgata here, Nymph, a lot of them, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move my light so I don't burn myself. <laughs> that happens. <laughs> like that. Okay, folks, let's put in our hook. And for thread, I'm using a tan, uh, uni thread tan, and I'm actually using 6.0 for this fly because it's a quite big fly, so. I'm gonna use copper wire and lead and everything, so I like that. So secure the hook in the vise like that. Okay, move the hooks. And I'm gonna start off in the front and I'm just gonna wrap all the way down to the to the hook point, like that. Snip off. And I'm gonna stop just where the hook bend is, okay? Just by the hook bend, like that. And I'm gonna tie in the tail. And I'm gonna use this nice tan color. I'm gonna find a feather that's nice and uh, long, like this one. Oh, this is a very nice one. And I'm gonna use the lower part of the feather for the tail. I'm just gonna remove the, this part, it's not nice. This part I want to use for the tail. It's a quite a little bit shorter as you see this down here. I'm gonna use this for the tail, I'm gonna use this for the body. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out uh, about this much. I don't want too much, but uh, if you, you can always take some 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 out, okay? So I'm gonna tear them off and I'm gonna gather them together and I'm gonna see if this is too much or not. It looks great. I'm gonna roll it around, see which side I want to tie them in. I'm gonna take out a few, perhaps take out some. I don't want to overdo this because I just want a, you know, thin tail. I want a lot of movement, movement in the tail, you know. Okay, so tie in about one and a half length of the hook, okay, of the hook shank. So about there, and a half is there, about there, okay. Tie that in in the back. Pinch it, a couple of turns to secure it. And if there are some of these that are a little bit longer than the other, you can just break them off with your fingers if you want. Or you can just leave them. Okay, secure that and snip it off full length of the body and that's halfway up, okay? And then I'm gonna uh, put in some my copper wire, like that. Break it off and full length of the body again. It's about there, tie it in. And then I'm just gonna clean up this, this part. Like that. And I'm gonna tie in the eyes that we made. And I'm gonna tie them in just about there. It's very important to have the space for the, for everything, you know. I'm gonna make a head, and, yeah. I'm gonna take our eyes, our nice damsel eyes that we made. I'm gonna tie them in here. I'm gonna start off by taking some figure of eights. I'm gonna check if it's in the middle, like that. Okay, 
and just take a couple of figure eights and a couple of turns in the back. Cross your thread, you can go under, you can use some super glue, just secure them nice and tight. Like that. Oh, they're so cool! <laughs> it's strange when you tie some flies and you put some ice on them, and just you, the fly comes alive. I don't think the the, the fish, um, you know, see uh, sees the eyes and think, oh, this one got eyes. I want to take that one, but you know, this is for the fisherman, I think. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Now you secure the eyes, and then go back, and we're gonna stop a couple of millimeters from the tail, and we're gonna make the body. And uh, we have used the lower part for for the tail and I'm now I'm going to use this part for the body and I'm going to take out a pretty same amount perhaps a little bit more this time okay I'm just going to break them off with my left hand like that and then I'm going to turn them around and tie them in by the tips and what I like to do I like to snip off just the thinnest part I want to snip them off and then I'm going to tie it in okay I'm going to take a couple of loose wraps and pull it as long as I dare about there and I'm going to tighten up and I'm going to tie this back to the point where I where the tail are there and I'm going to move my thread up full length of the body there and I'm going to start uh, twisting this and I'm actually going to twist it uh, the same way as the clock goes now counterclockwise. Okay, I'm gonna twist it clockwise. <laughs> yeah, my brain is functioning. Okay, and I'm gonna actually apply this not that way, but this way because we're gonna rib the opposite way to make it a lot stronger. Okay, so just make a nice body, and this could be tricky. You can use some hackle, hackle pliers if you want. And I'm gonna stop there. Don't go too far. And I'm gonna cross my thread. Pull this one down and go up and secure it. Don't let go. Take a couple of turns here to secure it like that. And take a couple of turns in the front. Take a couple of turns in the back. A couple of turns in the front and snip it off. Close. Okay. There we go. Get rid of that. And then I'm actually going to brush a little bit with my Velcro, borlos as we say in Norwegian, borlos, yeah. I'm gonna pull out some fibers, be a little bit careful so you don't break any fibers. Just a little bit, like that. Oh, nice. We want to have a lot of movement in this fly, so yeah. So I'm gonna rib this way, okay. Five turns about, three, there is three, four and five, and come up. And cross your thread. This is quite important. Oh, it's so tight here. I don't have a lot of space. Up with your thread, down with your wire, nice and tight. Keep it tight. Don't let go. Take a three, four wraps, secure wraps, and then you can break off the wire, okay? Snip it off or break it off. You can choose like that. Then secure the butt. Butt end. <laughs> secure the butt. <laughs> okay. And brush a little bit more. Oh, we're having a good time. It's cold outside, it's raining. I got warm coffee in my cup. I got you guys following me, helping me out with the English words. Thank you. So, cheers for that, people. Oh, <laughs> sorry, coffee is so good. Let's brush a little bit more. We want to brush out the fibers on our damsel nymph. Okay, like that. Brush, 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 brush. Oh yeah, that looks great. Let's see, perhaps we can use a little dubbing needle. Be careful not to pull out the whole fiber, just a little bit. You can see there are a few ones trapped there. No, I'm gonna leave it. I'm, ha I'm happy with that. Okay, I'm gonna leave it. I've always, almost pulled out the fiber and now I'm gonna have my thread in the middle of uh, the point between the eyes and my tie
tying point there, okay? And I'm gonna tie in the, I'm gonna say, it's not a shell back, but you know, the, the back of the, the, the damsel. Yes, and we're gonna, I'm gonna use the feather on the side here, okay? From the wing, this one, this big one. So just pull it out and snip it out, like that. And I'm gonna use the long, longest fibers on the side and the light ones. You see, there are quite light ones. You're gonna pull this one off. And I'm gonna pull out about a centimeter. Sorry, uh, about a centimeter. And then it doesn't it doesn't matter if they they split like that. That doesn't matter. So just pull out 90 90 degrees from the stem and snip them off. I like to snip it off. You can break it off if you want, but I like to snip them. And I'm gonna tie them in. Okay. So now we actually want to tie them in with the uh, shiny part of the of the feathers up, okay? Because we want this colored one going this way. So we have to tie it in the opposite way. And for the length of the legs, we're gonna have some legs here. I'm looking for from the hook of the um, the eye of the hook to about there. So the tying point there is about there, okay? So don't don't tie in too long legs. Sorry. It doesn't matter if you just gather them like that. Tie a couple of turns. Check it. Oh, that looks great. And then I'm gonna use my thumb on the top to kind of fan out. I want this to be quite wide on the top here. I'm gonna check it. Oh, it looks great. So just make sure they are on each side go down on each side so you can just pull them out you can use your finger like this and you know wiggle it back and forth like that all the way back there and go back again and then we're gonna tie our legs down and I'm gonna split this in half about there whoops come on Oh, I'm focusing <laughs> like that. I'm gonna pull this one back. And I'm actually gonna use my fingers for this, of course, like this. I'm gonna pull those in an angle down like that, okay? And tie them in, take a couple of turns, and I'm gonna check it if you're happy. Looks great, yeah. And go back to the point where there, where, where you started the, your back here, these feathers. I'm gonna check this one. Ah, looks great. Okay, and now we're gonna dub it, and we're gonna use the the hair's mask, and the chin, the chin fibers. You can see there's the whiskers, here and up here. There are nice, nice fibers. I like them a lot. I use them all the time. I need to. I think I have to buy a new one because this is quite, yeah, not so much left. And I'm gonna snip out a nice bunch. You can pull them out if you, if you want to pull it out, you pull it out, but I'm just going to snip out and I'm going to mix this in my fingers. Mix, mix, mix. Look at it. Oh, I like I like natural fur. I like it a lot. So, yeah, pull out a small bunch. I'm going to start dub. Start here. This pattern you can use, you know, you can you can you can use in different colors that has told you. You can use in olives and brown. I'm gonna make a brown one for for the, for the big uh, dragonflies in olives. And I'm gonna see here, I want this hump. Yeah, I think that is enough. I get this small hump there. Okay, and I'm gonna go forwards with the dubbing. Sorry, my voice is a little bit, I have a small cold, so yeah. <coughs> Yeah, let's go, let's go. Put on some more dubbing and we're gonna make sure we have a lot of dubbing around the eyes. You know, and the front part of the damsel is quite thick, so. Oh, that's too much. Just pull it out and, you know, make it nice and tight. And they come here, we're gonna take a little bit more dubbing and we're gonna do a figure of eight. I'm gonna cross this dubbing around our eyes here. Just by doing that. And now it's quite important to have 
just a little bit of dubbing on your thread. thread. Don't overdo it because then you will get too much in the eye and everything. So pull every fiber back. Get your thread in the front, go all the way down and go up again. There. And I'm gonna tie in this one. Oh beautiful. That's great. I like it a lot. Just use your use your thumb on the top like this. And then I, and then I use my finger underneath. I'm gonna change the light as you can so we can see it. Okay, there. You see, I'm pinching it with my with my finger and thumb. And now I can't see anything because the lamp is in the way like that. And I'm just gonna take one secure wrap. No, I have to move the lamp. I can't see anything. As you can see, then I use my finger underneath to help it. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time. The thumb on the top, and I'm coming under with my with my index finger, for then I can spread it out. So I want it. You can use your nail to get the, the fibers nice and neat, like that. And I'm, I'm, I'm pinching with my finger underneath. I think this helps. And I'm going to take one loose turn, make sure the thread is all the way up. Pinch the thread. Like that. I'm going to pull it up with my right hand. I'm going to Tighten the thread like that. Okay. Take a couple of turns. And snip, snip off the butts. So there we go. Oh, it looks so great. So if if some of the fibers splits, it doesn't matter because uh, if you can see on the top now, it looks great. It looks great. I like it. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish off by cleaning up the eye. Take the thread all the way down and just tie up. In, in the in the ends there nice and tight and then we're gonna finish off with uh, a couple of a couple of turns with the uh, big finish and that's the damsel damsel nymph I'm gonna finish off by varnish and before we do that I'm gonna check the eye I think I have a couple of fibers there I don't want them let's so use my needle there we go I'm gonna brush. I'm gonna brush out a little bit of this this um, rabbit like that. Yeah, yay! Look at it. And you got your nice eyes, and you got your nice legs. As you can see, there are some legs. I don't know if the legs are gonna show, you know, in the water that much, but uh, you know, I like it. Oh, <laughs> it's a kind of bushy fly. And I like bushy flies. <laughs> yeah, let's varnish, and we're finished with our damsel nymph. And uh, as I said, we can, you can tie this in many different colors if you want. You can change the color of the legs to other colors, but I really like the color combination of this nymph. I'm gonna have some varnish on top. Oh yeah! You can use some harder snails, so you can use whatever you using. You can even use some 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 UV uh, some uh, some UV resin if you want. Resin. Yeah. Oh, I like it. And that's my damsel nymph. Everyone is tying it like that almost. So I've already seen it before. So yeah. Yeah. Okay, there you go. That's the damsel. Mm. And then uh, you can tie this in different sizes, but uh, here in Norway, this is uh, it's a nice size for 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 uh, you know for for um, for damsels. So, uh, we got a lot of different species uh, up here in Norway. We got some big ones, dragonflies, and I tie this in in size. Um, yeah. All the way up to size six, big, big, big flies. But uh, this is—you uh, can see the tail and everything. It looks like it's—it's it's, it's a kind of a woolly booger, you know. Um, <laughs> it's all, yeah, it's a woolly booger. But you know, with the small eyes and 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 the legs and everything, uh, yeah, I like it. And uh, uh, yeah, 
So thanks for watching and uh, and uh, tie tie them up because you're gonna you're gonna get catch a lot of fishermen on them. So yeah, okay. I'll see you in my next uh, video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>